Hey, hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aries, Summer Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only get the personal reading, which is used on my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you are having a beautiful and blessed day. And I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Aries. And happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. May Father God bless you with the most happiest and funnest of days. Okay, may all your wishes be granted. And may you be surprised with something that is so magical that you know Father God has gifted it to you for your blessed, blessed, and special day. I love you so immensely, and I just want to say I thank you. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. Okay, ooh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> then please come down and protect the viewers that have clicked on this video today. For the messages today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. What does Aries need to know? So they gave me three cards, okay? I was going to put it back, but they're saying don't. They're saying don't, so I'm not. Yeah, they were telling me. <laughs> they were saying don't, so I'm not. Your crown chakra is definitely enhancing at this time. The thing about it is I had started this reading right before, and they had cut off. So I had, it was only like two minutes in. So I was like, okay, I'll restart it. And I was definitely speaking about how your gifts are enhancing at this time. And I said, don't be scared. I was like, stay close to Father God. Stay close to your angels. Stay close to your ancestors. A lot of things could be happening at this time because the veil is, is low. Okay, it's thin. It's, 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 it's dropped in certain ways. Okay, this is also a time in your life when you have, are going through different changes and transformation. And, you know, different things are being shed light upon. And sometimes it could be... A little unsettling and it has to do with you being able to tap fully into your intuition okay usually people say oh I find God when I'm going through a trial or tribulation that usually is the case or you know your intuition enhances or gets stronger when you have nothing else to rely on but trusting your intuition like when you are in a situation and you know that you may not be safe or it's just something that's telling you to not trust people. Like, I don't know. It can make you physically sick. It can feel like, you know, your stomach is wanting to jump out of your body. Because it's, it's signs to let you know that something is up around you. It's your body already sensing it. Your body is connected to all the neurons, all the electrons of the world. Okay? We are a, a, a divine being. But it, it's, it goes deeper than that. Like, it, it goes deeper than just a, a human you know, we, we are a divine soul having a human experience. So you're way more tapped in or you're way more stronger than you may realize. And it could be coming about during times of conflict, trial, drama, turbulation. Okay. That's usually when people tap into their most strongest self. And also when they pull out their spiritual gifts that were already innately, you know, in you, you know, when you were born. When you came into this world by God. It's something about your crown chakra. And your crown chakra is how you receive messages from up above, okay? It is a very, very, very important chakra. And it's a wow because it, I was just in, like, meditation this morning. And I was like, yo, my mom used to always tell me, you want to keep your crown done. Keep your, you know, your, your hair done, your crown done. You want to make sure that you're, you know, you are always looking like presentable, but most definitely you want to make sure your hair is done. Your hair is clean. Your, your crown is clean. You know, cleanliness is close to godliness. People say, oh, yeah, you know, let your hair grow. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about just overall just making sure that you are kept and overall just making sure, like, you know, you, you're cleansing yourself, okay? Most definitely in your hair. It's something about your hair. So it's, some, it's, it's significance around someone's hair or someone's crown. Okay, someone can literally be receiving a crown. Like, I don't even know. Is it the time for people to graduate? I think it is, right? Like high school or college in May? Okay, or like coming into May, June. So someone here um, could be getting ready to be like valedictorian or someone here is getting ready to like win an award, okay? And it has to do with you claiming some type of trophy or crown as well. That's random, but that is for someone here. This could be for you, or this could be for like someone you know, or a child. Not a child, but like a young adult. 
we have here controlled us here, but there's definitely something going on with your crown chakra and receiving messages from the divine realm. You also have some control. So this is all about you being in control, okay? You knowing how to be in control. You could have people that could be wanting to control you in different ways and you're bigger than that. You know that God is ultimately in control and God sees all, okay? So this is a time for you to focus on control and also finding balance within your life. Okay, I love this card. It shows so many different aspects of your life. So someone here, you could be manifesting marriage. Okay, you could be wanting to have a ring on that left finger. You could be manifesting marriage. You could be getting pregnant or you could be, you know, manifesting, expanding your family. If you do not have a child, you could be manifesting a baby. Or if you have a child already, you could be manifesting another blessing of life, another child. I'm seeing here, I'm also seeing here, you are studying at this time with this book of knowledge. Not only are you diving deep into like your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs, but you can most definitely just be reading more, educating yourself, gaining more wisdom, gaining more knowledge, and knowledge is power. Okay, you can't take away something that's in you already. Once you gain that knowledge, it's in you. Nobody could take that from you. Okay, literally. So you could be gaining knowledge at this time. You could be a teacher. You could be a student. You could be learning different things. You could also be teaching others. Okay, I also see here you have a rose here. So this is about self-love and self-care. Someone's name could be Rose or someone could have like a flower name. Okay. Like Rose or Lily or I don't know. I can't think of all the names. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't think of the other like pretty Rose names. Okay. But someone here could have like a Rose type of name, a flower type of name. They can have a flower name. Okay, that is for someone here. I can't think of any other examples. I'm only hearing Rose and Willie. Okay, we also have here time. So you could be more so in tune with time management as well. Okay, taking care of your time, taking care of your health, okay, which is important with that rose and the time being right there. You know that time isn't promised. You know that time you can't get back. Okay, you could be realizing this too. So you could be really, really utilizing your time. You could be really planning out your schedule. You could be writing things down. Or you could be staying more organized within your day or within like your day-to-day. -day. There's something about that as well. I also see when you're doing something around your health, okay? Either you could be like uh, the type of person that is, you know, giving an off giving a offering to your ancestors or your angels or your spirit guides. Like, what do I mean by that? You could be... Um, cooking food and leaving food out for them. You could be lighting a white candle for them. You could have ancestral money, okay? You could be burning money for them, okay? So on the, you know, to give thanks for them, you know, leaving money for you in this lifetime. It's like you're, you're thanking them in that type of way, okay? It's something about that, but this is just you focusing. If you don't do that or you haven't done that, you could literally just be focusing on your health at this time in which you are feeding your body, which you are eating with that cup. You could be focusing on drinking more water. You could be someone that may like to drink, but you could be more so focusing on being more healthy at this time, eating better, eating more healthy, eating and doing things that are going to sustain you. This is with that cup energy. Okay, this is all about you finding balance in your life. I also see you could also be seeking the truth. Okay, either you could be speaking or there's someone that is getting ready to come towards you and they're getting ready to speak something towards you with that throat chakra. You have two different chakras that are here. You have the throat chakra and the crown chakra. So you could be getting downloads from the divine realm, from heaven, from up above, from the ethers, from the universe, from source, from the creator, from Father God. You could be getting downloads from up above and speaking about it to the masses. Okay, you could be receiving downloads, receiving messages, receiving signs, synchronicities, warnings. It's like you're 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 receiving certain things, okay, and it's, it's coming towards you at this time so you can speak on it, okay? This is also letting me know that there could be someone in your energy that is receiving downloads or could be receiving messages about you, and they're getting ready to speak on it. Somebody here is getting ready to speak on something, okay? The, the number five could be significant. 77 is here, so this is also a confirmation for you, and for someone here, this is a warning. February could be significant. May could be significant, July could be significant, August could be significant. Someone could be born on the 2nd, on the 20th, I'm sorry, on the 2nd, on the 5th, or on the 8th, or on the 7th, okay? Any of those numbers could be significant. Okay, so let's jump to 
What else does Aries need to know? You have soulmate that wants to fly out. You have a soulmate that's coming in. The number 49 could be significant. This is beautiful energy. This could be a fire sign. So you could be friends with a fire sign. Okay, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or another Aries. You could be uh, receiving like messages or receiving communication from someone that wants to be your friend. Or you could be getting ready to meet your soulmate. Okay, so this could be someone for someone here. You may have friend zone this person or this could have. <laughs> Aries. You could have friend zone this person. Wow, Aries. Why you do that? Why you do that, Aries? I can't get over that now. Either you have friends on this person, or this is someone that you're gonna start off being a friend with, and it may grow into something more. But be mindful of friend zoning someone that Father God is is sending your way to be more than a friend. You could also be getting ready to receive, you know, a friendship, and it is a soulmate. Because soulmates don't just come as lovers; soulmates also come as friends. So this could be a chapter in your life where you could be receiving coming in contact with a certain type of friend and it's actually your soulmate they're aligned with you on your soul mission your soul calling 1123 that angel number could be significant Wiggle that time again be mindful of your time aries time is not promised okay time is not promised that's why each day you wake up and you give thanks to father god because you would just sleep for time you would sleep for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, up to hours, you were asleep, and God kept you, and God awoke you. God let your body wake you back up. God woke you back up. That time, okay, it wasn't promised that it wasn't promised. We go to sleep, or we take a nap, or we close our eyes, and I don't even know if that's a fear. You could also, man, oh, man, I feel like that is like a fear. Like, there could be people that are, like, scared to sleep because they're scared that they may you know go go to the maker that god may call them home somebody here yeah you could be more so getting in tune with time it could be something about grandparents or someone that may be older or elder as well okay you could be something about that too i'm picking up on that energy Okay, but I see it, yeah, most definitely. Someone on the other side is like, okay, you have a very lucky energy here. And the reason why I say that is because the death card is here. Scorpio energy. Some, some, Either someone on the other side could be definitely trying to give you signs and synchronicities at this time. This could be different things ending in your life so that there could be a new beginning that comes about. You're also being led to gain knowledge at this time. There's knowledge that's coming towards you. Okay, the number 34, 36. 47, 27, 49, and 41 could be significant. Any of those numbers could be significant to you. What else does Aries need to know? Oh, okay. So Aries, Gemini energy is coming through. So you're someone that is extremely self-sufficient. Okay, so someone here could be realizing this, or you could be realizing this about yourself, that you are very, very self-sufficient. You know how to handle business. We put five on the timeline. Somebody here is over this, though, okay? I feel like you guys are in a very calm and relaxed energy, too, right? Usually, they want to be like hustle and bustle energy, like taking care of business on go, busy, busy city, fast life energy. But for some reason, during this time period or overall right now, you guys have been in a very, like, chill and relaxed energy, like they're saying cool or calm under pressure, okay? Something about that too. You guys could be dealing with a lot of things or dealing with something that it may feel like the light has been lit underneath you and it has been. God is trying to get you moving, get you up to doing something, but you're not showing your sweat. You're not letting people see you sweat or you're handling it with grace and that's God of you. You're handling it in a way, 432 on the timer, that it's like people are not seeing, you know, the, the stress or... The, the wounds, the trauma, the the hurt, the heartache, the crying, the the believing in yourself, the prayers, the prayer warrior. They haven't seen that drive, the path that it has taken for you to get to where you are. It's like you handle it very well. You handle it very well for some for someone here. Okay, someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you, 
And this could have to do with them expressing their feelings to you. Okay, you could be someone that has expressed your feelings to someone. This could be a Pisces or a Taurus. I'm not even about to come out at Earth signs, but just, I don't know what is up. Like, the same way, some five, okay. <laughs> We're going to stay on topic. But if I see it again, I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, with Pisces being here and Taurus being here. So someone here feels that they miss out on a commit. They miss out on an opportunity at being in a lifelong commitment or relationship with you. Yeah, and they're sad. They're sad. So I want to say people are naturally in their element at this time. Because of this eclipse energy, people are naturally in their element. What do I mean by this? Water. Water could be extremely emotional at this time, water signs. But it could also come across as mystery or secretive or, you know, that's that water energy, illusion energy, but also clarity. So it's like in between. It's like the, it's some could be rocking out of um, being not see-through, but like glass, you know, being able to clear water. Or there could be others that is like murky water where you're not able to see nothing. So it just depends on who you're coming in contact with at this time. Fire. You have people that are very confident in the fire element right now. You also have people that are very egotistical, very prideful. Okay, and it's, it's going to be their downfall. You also have people in the air element that are, you know, really showing up with their intelligence and with their intellect and with their speech. But then you have others that are manipulating, lying, or trying to smite others down with their words. Okay, you have the, the mind manipulation. You also have, like, silent treatment going on. You have very vengeful tactics being thought of at this time with, with an air energy, the air element. And then you have the earth element. And earth, it's like, in the good, it's practical, taking your time, being methodical. But in the bad, it's like taking too long, wasting time, dragging your feet, 1717 on the timer, not taking action towards nothing, taking, moving slow like molasses, earth energy, and missing the, the bullseye. So it's just very... Uh, I want to say coincidental because nothing is a coincidence. So that downer was meant to come in during this time. And I may say it for all of the signs. It just came in for y'all, Aries. But it's like each element is really like showing. Okay, you, you could be finding, you could be literally seeing within people, whatever element there are, their goods or their bads. Okay, whatever they're choosing to rock in during this time. Because with this eclipse energy and also with the, the new moon energy, the moon not being out, it's really like showcasing. The things that were being hidden during this time so be mindful like if you know someone's element if you know somebody's a, a, a um an aquarius okay that's air you know somebody is like a gemini i'm sorry you know somebody is a pisces that's water watch to see if they are you know very 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 emotional or watch to see or just you know in tune or balance with their emotions or watch to see you know, if they are in murky water, water is very secretive, very hidden. It's just about what people are choosing to rock in, the energy that they're choosing to rock in at this time. Cancer, so there could be a cancer that is also very sad over you as well. Okay, this has to do with vulnerability. So you could be someone that could be very vulnerable or someone here feels like they could come towards you because you could be someone that is open to people being vulnerable. You are this breath of fresh air, Aries. You come in with a very positive energy, and we are at 19 minutes. So I am about to hurry up. I'm trying to get through. <laughs> Anything else that Aries needs to know? Okay, Aries, it's time to take action. Okay, especially towards your creativity, it's time to take action. Okay, you also have your mental force. So someone here most definitely could be trying to affect you mentally. It could be an Aquarius. Okay, but you need to realize with this Sagittarius energy that you have all the resources. To, to point that bullseye, to point to be the archer, to hit your goal, to hit your target. You will triumph. Okay, it's not a doubt. There's no doubt. There's no doubt around that. You are going to triumph. I'm seeing here. You could also have to release in self-sacrifice. That's the ram energy. Okay, yeah, and it can have to do with you letting go of, you know, discord and drama, self-sacrifice. You moving away. You saying, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Something that has like 
puts you in conflict, puts you in drama. This could even be you moving away from people that block their emotions or that work more out of ego or pride and don't want to work on their, you know, that shadow side. You have hope for the future here too. So there's a, yeah, these people are getting ready to feel powerless or someone here feels powerless because you are taking action in a different direction and it's bringing major hope to come towards you, especially a hopeful future I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's jump to the next deck. Anything else that you're going to do, Tarot? Anything else that Aries needs to know? Okay, we have here, yeah, don't show your hand because you do have tricks up your sleeve. There are a lot of people that are, you know, it's chaos in the situation, which is why Father God is moving you away from the whole group, from trying to work with a whole bunch of different people and just focusing on being by yourself. Independence is key. Do something by yourself. Okay, you have all the strength, you have all the confidence, you have all the tools to get this done, okay? It's all about you not doubting yourself. I'm seeing this here too. Don't doubt yourself, okay? Anything else that Aries needs to know from this deck? And then we're going to jump to Tarot. Yeah, there's a lot of background chatter. There's a lot of people talking about you right now, Aries. But again, the second time we score is the crown chakra is being activated. And there is a strong connection to the Holy Spirit. So don't you ever doubt how strongly connected you are to God, to your angels, to your ancestors, to your spirit guides. This is beautiful energy. Okay, beautiful energy, beautiful energy. I absolutely love seeing that card. There's a few of my favorite cards in here. Yeah, there, there, is, a, there is someone also that does admire you. They could be making themselves known during this time too. Okay, just know that things will work out for the best for you, Aries. So let's jump to the tarot. Let's pull a little tarot, okay? I haven't really been focusing much on tarot. I've mostly been focusing on oracles this week but we will pull a little bit of tarot tarot go deep and i'll be channeling for a long time let's see what is aries need to know holy spirit please and thank you i don't even see your energy i saw earth and water that popped out king of pentacles and a, and a king of cups i don't even know which one is you <laughs> so you could be dealing with the aquarius a bias i'm sorry a earth sign or a water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aquarius. What does Aries need to know? Aries at the bottom of the deck with the star. Get ready for a blessing to come towards you, Aries. This is something that you have been wanting. This is something that you have been wanting to see come into your life, wanting to happen. This has been something that you have been praying about, and it's coming. Okay? This is a renewal within your faith, a renewal within your life, okay? This is also you feeling like there's a new lease on life, okay? This is wish fulfillment. The star is beautiful, beautiful blessing, okay? It's you having hope, hope being restored as well. You being hopeful, you being faithful, things turning around for you, okay, in the best way. Star energy is also fame. So you could be getting ready to be very famous. You could be coming into fame or stardom, or you're going to be someone that's going to be well-known. You give up star-like qualities. There's something that you do that you do very well, and it's like you shine brighter than everyone else that's doing it in your field. Okay, you're, you're shining. Ooh, you're shining very bright. Yeah, it's something that you are manifesting that you are calling towards you. Okay, I don't know why these came out in the reverse, but I'm going to take them in the upright. So you're starting something fresh, Aries. This is your energy with the emperor. You're starting something fresh with the page of pentacles, or you're starting over. And this could be after... Some type of financial turmoil. You could have been connecting to someone that was going through financial hardship. Or you could have been connecting to someone that was trying to put you through financial hardship. And it was like you had to start fresh with the page of pentacles. Yeah, it was very heartbreaking for you to have to walk away from someone, a Libra or a Scorpio. But you had to do it. Somebody was trying to make you lose everything. Yeah, Aries. With the Ten of Cups being here. Now this person is viewing you as someone that is stable, the perfect catch, and now they want to come rushing in because they feel like you could do better when you move forward, and you can. What's the page of pentacles? So you're having to start fresh, okay? Yeah, after somebody was determined, you could have gotten some type of information that could have came in with the page of pentacles. Usually this is good news, but this is also information coming in. So something could have came in that could have alerted you or that could have let you know that somebody was playing games. It could have been up to three people that was like teaming up against you. 
to try to slow things down for you with the Knight of Pentacles. Could have been an air sign or earth sign, and you were being protected all along. Temperance angel to close something out or to learn some type of cycle, to learn some type of lesson to close out a cycle. And now it's time for money, for wealth. 1010 could be significant as well. What's the five of swords? You have complete abundance coming your way. Ten of pentacles is more money than you ever could have imagined in this lifetime. Okay, that's the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is like a, a beautiful blessing of a, a huge home, financial security, stability, wealth, generational wealth that lasts you that lasts a lifetime. Okay, this is like you creating wealth, Rockefeller money. Okay, what's the five of swords? I'm I'm serious. Like it's gonna be something that you wanna. It's it's deep love that comes with this ten of pentacles. Okay, and this could have to do with you embracing new love into your life too. What's the five of swords about for Aries? Yeah, Aries. Like whoever this was, you had to let them go. Okay, this could have been another fire sign. Somebody here could have been really determined to like make you go homeless or lose your job or your money or to try to take your inheritance. Somebody here, they were lying to you playing dirty, and they were out for themselves. This could have been an earth sign, okay? Somebody here, they were passionate about doing this. They were passionate towards taking action to try to do this to you because this person doesn't have anything. Yeah, they because you are successful. The six of wands, or success comes in once you go ghost or once you go within for the answers. That's when you have this recognition, this praise, this new start, but it's like something about how judgment was being called because you were taking care of someone that was taken from you, and it was only about the money, okay? Judgment was being called literally in a situation. What is the Six of Pentacles? Somebody here was taken from you. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You had to drop something that was a hardship. You could have been taking care of someone, or they were like literally taking from you and trying to put into their pocket and could have been flexing and acting like they're big and bad or acting like they got it put together to try to impress other people or take care of other people. Somebody here was trying to live off of your dime and this was a burden that you had to drop. Okay, now this person is watching you because they feel like you're not regretful over this. They feel like you don't you don't feel no type of way. Okay, this person sees that you haven't embarked on something new. The Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning within your life. It's new intimacy. It's new endeavors. It's something new that's coming and creative for you. It ignites your passions. This could also be you looking really good. You could be very attractive. Your body could be, could be on point. You could be someone that's very fine. Okay, male or female, you look good. So someone here is, is, is viewing you this way, they're viewing you as a full package, most definitely. It could be an earth sign, or they're viewing you as this person that has gotten some type of raise or promotion, male or female, and you, you're about your money, you're about your bag, and you have hit a precipice that people can't deny within your life, okay, literally, where you gain respect. This could be something that you do naturally, like a, a, um, a business, or you could be in a place of power within your career. Yeah, you let the devil go. If you let someone that was very toxic or dependent that played on your emotions, feelings, your mental health, physical health, your spiritual health, somebody here that was a complete menace in your life, causing drama, conflict, competition, you dropped it. You freed yourself from something that was very trying to you. And now it's time for there to be a happy home. So Aries, if you feel like you made the right decision, you did. Something could have been very hard or, or very, you know, difficult for you to do. And it could have had to do with you letting go of someone or moving away from someone. But that was exactly what was needed at this time. Someone here was purposely trying to ride your coattail because they knew that because of your heart, you would take care of them. You would feel bad or feel guilty. You would just do it. And that's not what Father God wanted for you. No. Anything else that Aries needs to know? Yeah, somebody's about to fall from grace. Okay, this could be someone that wanted you to spoil them, or this could be someone that's going to act like they want to come back and take care of you now, but 555 is here. There's major life changes that are on the way. It's time for you to embrace the, the new and let go of the old. This person is late on bills, this old love that's trying to come in, that doesn't want you to be solo, coming out in the reverse. They're scared to be solo. Somebody's very codependent, yes. Okay, the letter I could be significant too. First, middle, or last initial yours or theirs. This person could be reaching out to you in one to two days for someone here. You could be getting ready to hear from this person. That's why. It's because this person is broke. For someone here, this is an emperor in the reverse or this is an empress in the reverse. Somebody here who is very egotistical, prideful, abusive, manipulative. Someone who is a tyrant. Someone here who will fight to get their way in the worst type of way in regards to stepping on people's necks and belittling others. Somebody here 
They don't have no line to them. They cross lines. So the emperor in the reverse is someone that can even be an unfit parent. You want to stay away from someone like that. This is someone that does play or they're paying for spell work to be done. This devil energy, they work with the devil. That's why I said you let somebody go who was the devil. Like, okay, they were playing or they paid for some type of work to be done and it's not working. This devil energy, their plans didn't work. But someone here just was a cancer. And the tables are turning now. This person will never have money for doing this or for trying to come up against you. They will be broke, okay? That, that's their karma. And it's because they wanted to come up against an emperor. So you saw how the emperor was in the reverse. So for someone here, you could have felt like somebody was your twin flame and they were a karmic. You could have felt like somebody here was your forever person and they were a karmic. They were someone that was meant to teach you lessons, three, four, five on a timer. And it could have been very tough life lessons. And it could have been very, very difficult to let this person go. But this person was not ever supposed to continue along your journey towards wealth, towards riches. No. It was someone that was meant to strengthen you. You were meant to come in contact with this person so that you could transform on a deeper level and continue along your path to attract them better. Somebody here could have also been attached to your south node. And now it's like they're taking the necessary step to go towards your north node. I'm seeing this here too. Something could also be happening on the weekend, y'all, Saturday and Sunday. Your angels and your ancestors are very pissed off about something going on right now. They're very angry. And this could have to do with somebody who is not single, who is a dark cop priestess, who does not listen to God, who could be trying to get into your energy. That's very, very scary. Okay, you have protection. 222 is here as well. You have new beginnings. You have the power to manifest with the universe. And it's all about you going with the flow of love. You also have a big money payout that's on the way too. So look out for that. And that's why somebody here is envious and dangerous. And there go that judgment card again. They are under judgment at this time. By God, this could have started on Monday, which was the new moon as well as the new moon energy. So a lot of things could be happening on, could have started or could have began on Monday. A lot. Okay, anything else for Aries? Yeah, everything backfired, child. Everything that somebody tried to send your way has backfired on them. Somebody has gotten caught cheating. You also have this person. Wow, this, I don't know who this is, but th there's a cancer that's getting readings done on you. This is someone that also wants to beef with you on the internet. They could be trying to throw you energy or talk about you bad on the internet. Who cares? If it's not making you money, it's like, what is that? <laughs> At least that's how I feel. You can say whatever, but if it ain't, if I'm not about to adjust it, if it ain't making me no money. <laughs> like... Who has the time? Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Aries, I know you don't either. You the biggest. You you divine masculine. You that you that powerhouse energy, male or female. Like you, you the natural powerhouse, Aries. People need oh man. I right, ain't now. Your ancestors are on somebody's ass right now, Aries. Okay. This is somebody they want me to say it. This person could be gay on the down low, bisexual, and they're hiding it. They don't want people to notice that they go both ways. Okay, this is also someone that's giving their friend to you. And, and they're giving their love to someone else. They're giving their love to a friend and not you. And you need to free yourself. There's some, this is also someone that could be realizing that you are a gift. You need to pay attention to the red flags. I'm seeing here, Aries. Somebody here also has kids and they have their children lying for them. This is a looney tune. So somebody here, they out of it. This is, yeah, it's time for you to meet somebody new or you will be meeting a new person. You also need to be aware because somebody here, they're getting ready to go down. Okay. Feds are coming for someone. And they may know this, which is why they could be up at 4 a.m. They could be trying to manifest you up at 4 a.m. because they want you to stay with them. For someone here, you could be an influencer. You could be talking to an influencer or you are about to be this influencer. Okay. Or a celebrity. Okay. You also have where someone can have kids and they're not happy with their baby mother or their baby father. And they're trying to send you energy acting like they are psychic too. And it's because they want you to take them back. But if you knew everything that they did or said about you, you would want to fight them. This is also someone that's just coming back because they just want money from you and sex. Okay. This is someone that has sent you negative energy and the magic boomerang. So be mindful. And they're also watching you like the news. Okay. And it could be because you are a healer. And they are getting ready to go to jail or prison. So you really need to be mindful of this person that has lied about changing their ways. And, you know, they lied about evolving. This person has destroyed themselves. Okay. You need to be mindful of this person. All right, y'all. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Aries. And happy birthday again. I'll be seeing you on the next video.